So I'm quite excited to tell you where I am now. I'm at the Wimbledon Lawn Tennis Museum. It's right inside the gates of Wimbledon. I'm joined by Anna. She's the museum curator. And Anna, there is so much going on around here. We've got some old looking rackets here. We had some kind of bit of a history over there. Lots of different balls here. Anna, uh, tell me what people can expect from coming down here to the museum? Well, the museum really tells the history of lawn tennis right from its beginnings to the present day. So um, we've got all sorts of, as you say, old rackets and tennis balls and things like that, but also loads of fashion and lots of stuff from all the legends who've played here at Wimbledon as well. And um, how many like days a week is it opening? Is it for anyone to come and visit? I mean, who can come here? Yeah, we're open every day of the year, pretty much. And we also run tours of the ground for much of the year, too. So we get around 90,000 visitors. And um, yeah, we're, we're open throughout the year. So do pay us a visit. And apart from here, what else can they expect to get out of um, their experience here at the museum? Can they go and see anything of the Wimbledon grounds themselves? Yeah, absolutely. So the tours behind the scenes go to um, number one court, to centre court, to some of the player facilities, the media facilities. So really give you a sense of behind the scenes here at Wimbledon. And what are you most proud of down here? You know, what is something that you have to tell everyone? You have to come and see. Anything in particular? Oh, well, we've got a really nice exhibit, which is a ghost of John McEnroe, actually. Um, so he talks a lot about <laughs> his time playing here at Wimbledon. It's a Pepper's Ghost. It's a kind of hologram technique. And it's really good fun and also a really great insight into playing here at Wimbledon. I bet the kids love that one. I bet they're like, oh, it's a ghost. I've never seen one before. But I also spotted this. This is something quite special, isn't it, Anna? If you come over here and talk about this tennis ball right there. I'm not sure if the camera and Jeff can see that behind the glass, but Anna just... Tell everybody, for those who don't know, what's so special about this ball. Well, this is a really special tennis ball because it's signed by both Fred Perry and Andy Murray, so both British male Wimbledon champions of the last 100 years. Um, what happened was that um, Fred Perry was visiting a tennis club um, and uh, a lady who was there named Gail Sargent um, took the opportunity to get him to sign three tennis balls. So this was back in 1994. And then a few years later, she saw a young Andy Murray and thought that he had lots of promise and actually gave those three tennis balls to him. And it wasn't until he won the um, Wimbledon Championship in, in 2013 that he then signed each of those balls as well. So capturing a really unique piece of history in those tennis balls. And Andy Murray's kept one ball himself. And there's also one in here for the museum, which they gifted him, him and his wife, Kim. And there's also one ball which has been raffled off, hasn't there? And that's going to be announced tomorrow on the men's final day, the lucky winner of that. Can you just tell us all about that raffle and you know, and the ball and where's the money going to go for, etc. Absolutely. So um, the ball, the lady who got those those balls signed um, was named Gail Sargent and sadly passed away in 2010. And so Andy and Kim have chosen to raffle off that ball and the money raised from the raffle will go to St. James and St. Peter's Hospice um, in Sussex, which helped to care for her. I mean, that's such a great story. And it's going, obviously, the money is going towards such a great cause. And I mean, it's just great that you've got that the special piece of history. Whoever's the lucky winner of that raffle is definitely going to own a piece of British tennis history. So we're really looking forward to see who wins that tomorrow on men's final day. Thank you very much for the tour, Anna. Thank you. Thank you.